And you can either choose to sit in the history of it and say what you used to do and have frustration around, but well, we didn't have to do this back in my day, or we didn't have to do this 10 years ago. If you keep holding resistance there, you won't be able to get to the other side of what's current and what's happening now. Hey, what's up? It's Christine Horn, The Looking Magnet. Welcome back to another Motivation Monday. I was just listening to uh, Smooth Talking, So Walking. I don't even know the song. Some kind of cute country song. <laughs> so that's stuck in my head. Uh, but with that, sending you some good vibes and good, good energy for an amazing week ahead. I'm so excited. Everything that is happening for you in your life. All the things you don't even know about. Oh my gosh, I hope that just starts to excite you. You start to think about what could possibly be working behind the scenes in your life. Just good, 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 good energy. So I'm sending that your way and just like a boomerang, boom, it gonna get me too. So yes, I wanna talk quickly about taking a break. You know, I know many people in my audience, in my community, I have a lot of grown people, right? Grown people. And so some of you, maybe have taken a break to have kids, get married, travel, take a, a mental hiatus, honey, because you just needed to take a break from this industry. Like whatever the reason is, like it's okay that you took the break and I'm just here to welcome you back. And so oftentimes I'll get questions from, from people asking like, do you have any tips on, you know, getting back, like basically getting back on the saddle um, after taking a break? And you know, my biggest piece of advice especially if you're listening to this and you haven't taken a break. I want you to know that you can, <laughs> if you need to, for whatever reason, whether that's a month or a six months or two years, like whatever it is, just know that you are allowed. Yes, may you lose momentum, sure, because you're taking a break. It's like with anything else in life. But just know that this industry will be here when you get back. Will it have changed a little bit? Sure. Will you have to adjust to the things that have changed? Absolutely. But it will be here. It has been here long before you and it will be here long after you. So what's most important for all of us, myself included, is to make sure that we are taken care of mentally, physically, right? We're taking care of whatever needs to be taken care of in our household, our responsibilities. And if that requires that you take a break, then so be it. But for those of you who already took the break and you're, and you're back, you're coming back and it feels like this is uncharted territory or it's just a bunch of new stuff and new things to learn, I wanna encourage you not to be frustrated by it. A few episodes ago, I talked about embracing being a beginner again. And I kind of think that's where this is when you take this break and come back. I think the first step, if I'm going to, if I were to give you some tips or steps around this is to A, accept that things have probably changed since you left the industry. Websites that you needed to be on don't exist anymore, or the price went up on websites or, you know, where you used to find auditions, you can't find anymore. You know, post pandemic, the way we audition has changed and you can either choose to sit in the history of it and say what you used to do and have frustration around, but well, we didn't have to do this back in my day or we didn't have to do this 10 years ago. If you keep holding resistance there, you won't be able to get to the other side of what's current and what's happening now. And so I want you to just first and foremost, embrace being new again be open to learning and figuring out what has changed and how do you do that more than likely you probably need to hire a coach or get someone to help you who is currently in the thick of it i always say you spend time or money so you can spend time trying to figure it out on your own or you can get help get a coach get a consultation with somebody just to like get you back in the loop you know, that's something I offer. Uh, I have something called a fast track session. And that's when people get with me for 90 minutes on Zoom and we talk about whatever. We create strategy around whatever is important to them. Because I understand how sometimes that's just all you need. It's like a jump start to, to get back in the game. And understand too, the talent you had is still in you. Just because you took a break for whatever reason doesn't mean you lost it. This ain't no use it or lose the situation. This ain't like, you know, language learning i feel like language learning is like that like if i don't speak if i don't keep working on my spanish and i take too long of a break honey i, I have amnesia all of a sudden right so i think this is more like getting how do they say uh like riding a bike like if you know how to ride a bike then you can just get back up and start over again so i think that's the main thing i just want i'm not even gonna give you a ton of steps i just want to encourage you to know that 
the industry is here. It may have changed, right? I think another thing you just have to get used to is, is leaning more into social media and understanding how the, the industry, the world has changed now with social media, where you have more access than you ever have before. One of my friends, one of my best friends, Shellis, she told me, she said, girl, she was like, Christine, can you imagine if you had social media back when we was coming up? Like you imagine, she's like, you managed to put out albums and, and do all kinds of things. That was without social media, just like grassroots newspaper ads, like word of mouth. She was like, God, I said, I know. And so that's why I have to, I, that's why I, I'm to my best. I try to utilize as much as I can of what is being offered out here because the industry has changed and I can choose to either go with the flow or him and haw about it. But what do I get from that? Nothing. So I think now more than ever, we are all at a, a major advantage as artists that we get to share our gifts with the world. I don't care if you're 70 years old or 50 or 28 or 15, you have the same resources. You just will have to maybe get over a learning curve. And look, you can go to YouTube University. <laughs> That's what I call it. Go to YouTube, anything you don't know, you can find out. There's always someone who's great at it. Not all of us are great at everything. And thank goodness we're not. Each and every one of us has gifts and skills. So an area that you might feel feel lacking in or feel unfamiliar with or timid in, just hire somebody to help you. Or go to the library, read a book, go to YouTube, that's free. But I just don't want you to make excuses and sit in the history. And I wanna let yourself feel good about the break you took. Don't have any guilt around it. It is what it is, you took the break. And now, more than anything, you get to come back into this industry I don't, I don't even know what I just said. You get to come, it sounded weird in my brain. You get to come back into this industry with this renewed energy and this growth and this wisdom of all that you've been through. And now that gets to impact your work and the people you meet. It's a new you. It was a necessary you that had to take the break. So I want you to embrace that and don't, cause I so much of this feels like this industry can feel like if you don't take advantage of this right now, it's gone. It's over. You, you took a break. No, you you've forgotten about your agents. Like, okay, that might mean you have to get new agents because maybe the agent you have when you took the break is not interested in you when you come back. Okay. Well, someone is, someone will be. So just know that everything happens in divine time and what is for you cannot miss you period. So take the break if you need it. And if you're coming back, come in, get the help you need and get to it, get rocking, because we are waiting for you to share your gift. We're waiting for you to rise and step into the you, who you fully are. We want to see it. And I know you do too. All right. I hope this inspired you today. If you enjoyed this episode, share it with somebody. Don't be stingy. Share this episode. Share the link, okay? So that someone else can get some, some of this good, good. Because look, we can't grow alone. And it's much, it's much nicer to have someone else in the game with you who can, you can speak the same language and you don't have to, you don't have to explain every feeling that you're having because only people who are in this can really get it, right? Otherwise, you know, people will try to be there for you, but unless you're in it, it's hard to explain. So make sure you have a, uh, an acting buddy and share this uh, podcast with them if you haven't already. Have a great week major amazing things are happening for you and me and i'm so excited be sure to connect with me at actress christine horn on instagram because i want to hear from you let me know what you thought of this episode and um let me know if this helped you all right bye bye <laughs>